Yo, Francois, let me tell you something. Francois is uh that 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 was a nice little track there, bro. I'm not gonna lie, that was a nice track. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned in to the number one college radio station in the country. If you did not know that, I'm telling you again. And we got Deja in the building. Hey yes. guys. Uh, air horns. <laughs> 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 So it is 9.30, and I definitely forgot to play the drop. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now 9.30. Welcome to What the Problem Is. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Your girl getting on your nerves. Your man ain't treating you right. Call us now at 215-619-7366 and let us know what the problem is. What the problem is? Oh, we got a problem here? We got a problem? Yes, sir. It is time for what the problem is. So if you have any issues, if you're upset with this weather and you just want to vent, you can call in at 215-619-7366 with any, uh, any requests or any problems that you may have. I definitely have a great problem, man. I tried not to, uh, I tried not to focus on it, but seeing as though this is the segment of what the problem is, I think that, uh, not to, uh, prejudge anyone else's problem but i think my problem is uh pretty serious so i'm gonna have mine go last because it's gonna be pretty good okay <laughs> all right well dang <laughs> so uh for you guys do you guys what is your problem deja do you want to go first yeah i'm kind of like should i talk about this on air like i don't really know what? i mean it's all right so here's the thing <laughs> my class there's this guy right across from it long uh -huh. story short i feel like Oh, this is gonna be good. No, I just feel like um, there should be a certain age limit when you try to talk to a female. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, oh. okay. So, dude is too old or too young? Too old. Too oh, old. Oh, that's a nice little topic for. Uh, too old, like. There should be an age limit. Like, and like so. now, I feel like I have to dodge him going to class, and that's like a little weird. Oh. So would he know? Well, how old is he? well, nobody's. I don't think nobody's listening. So you want to know how old tell he is? Yes. And now, if you do that. And he listens. I'm just saying he might put two and two together. But I don't think that. I don't think he should, he's he probably us. teaching a class right now. Teaching a class. Okay. How old oh, is he? This is getting good. You can teach a class at like 26. No, he's not. No, I, I don't have a problem. That's not too old for me. But 53 is too old for me. God. And so, like, that's a little I weird. So now I feel like I have to dip and dodge. Like, that's my problem this morning. So, and I have to walk by that classroom to go to the bathroom. So, 55. I'm just, <laughs> right, too much. <laughs> I'm just a little scared. Well, uh, does he teach a class that you're in? No, it's just classes like this right next to me. I got you. So, 53. So, that's too old. So, what's your max? Not 53. That's my grandparents' age. <laughs> grandparents' age? Yes. Yeah. I guess that can happen. So, um, but then you got to well, what about not to put because we're older than Deja, what about so. 44? That's like that's like my parents. That's okay, what much. about Maybe like my max would probably be 30. Got gotcha. 30, if, but okay. that might be pushing it a little well, bit. Well, now, what if this 55 year old is a multimillionaire and he might not be looking for a relationship per se, Denzel? he just wants to have some what? I mean, some... if it's Denzel Washington, then I'd be like. Oh. Hey, it's like not no. It's like not no. I was still like it's too old. Cause we just to talk about like what are we gonna have in common? Yeah. I mean we could, but like it's just still a weird situation. Yeah. I think. So my yeah, problem yeah. this morning is how I'm gonna get to the bathroom. Oh my god. So what's, too old, what's too old for you, Maverick? What's too old for me? <laughs> I don't have it. Too old. I mean, you, gonna, you could go to seventy. It would depend. So you can go to 70? I did see this special with this 70-year-old uh, vegan, and she still looked bad. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, age limit female-wise. Well, seeing as though I am engaged, <laughs> but if I wasn't engaged, uh, it depends because I do want kids. So... If she has kids of her own, that so, might be a little tough. So wait, there's age limit for relationship, and there's age limit for would you get at her? Oh, oh, she could be seventy and be a bad old head. Okay, you know, okay. So you, you don't know. have an age limit for that, but nah, it's that's, a, that's, uh, that's vintage wine limit. right there. <laughs> vintage. Uh <-huh>. so, <laughs> So age you know, limit. All the for, wine get bored. Woo. <laughs> so mm. age limit for uh, dating is what? For dating. Uh, and that's like potential future. Like, okay, so, um, years old. 
I would say, I would say 40. I would say 40. Ooh. I would say 40. Ugh. And honestly, one of, the, well, not an ex, but a girl that I talked to, she actually just turned 38. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's your problem? Um, I don't. Have, I don't got no problem. Oh, here we I go. don't got no problem. Says the guy now, Deja. You are a witness to this. Says the guy who. Come on, come on. You got to think of what's your problem with going through the whole meeting, and now you come to the time Yo, you I, don't. I have never a wanted problem. this segment to even be on the show. So no, because <laughs> everything is problems, problems, problems. Gummy bears, raindrops, and cotton candy. I mean, Maybe I, your I, problem is that I was late this morning. What's your problem? I mean, that's not. Really, oh, no, that's not it. Yeah. I mean, that's an issue. I wouldn't call that a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, man, you know we got issues. We give them little solutions. Like I don't got a studio right now. That's like on the brain hard because when I need to record or mm-hmm, set, mm-hmm. like it's just basically. I'm out here asking for favors. Like, uh, yo, can I get in your studio? Yo, can you, how do you come show? up to me? Oh, I got this cheeseburger. I got this cheese. <laughs> 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 yo, what's that from that football movie, right? No, that's from uh, Don't Be a Menace while drinking your juice. In the, oh, okay. In that, well, there's yeah. that. But remember the joint where it was Nelly's movie? And it had the dude, and it was on a football team, a jail football team. Oh, and the, the longest bullets, yard, yeah, the longest yard, yeah, out yeah, his yeah. Pants. which was a remake. All right, so <laughs> my problem. Uh, so long story short, I was in King of Prussia getting my eyes checked out at America's Best Eyeglass. Wow, shout out putting to them. them out there. Shout out to them. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, I come out to my car. Walking everything done. I come up to my car and I see my bumper just broken in. Just oh, all no. in. Apparently, someone backed up and hit my car and took off. So I came out and I'm looking. I'm like, you have to be kidding me. So I called 911. And as I'm doing it, the ladies from the eyeglass spot, they came out. They're like, oh my gosh, you were in your exam. We didn't know that was your car. Somebody hit it, took off. But there was a witness and the cops were there. So they did a police report. I looked on my windshield. I see a note from the cop and a note from the witness. Say, if you need a witness call. And this was a license plate number. So they're doing the investigation. And I'm upset. And it's not even so much. Oh, well, I mean, the fact they, that you hit my car, like the damage is, it's bad, but it's not that bad. But my thing is, it's like you took off. Like, is it really that serious? Like, you must not have had insurance. But and you know, like, uh, it's, uh, it's just uh, disrespectful. Uh, I really, uh, you hit my car, that's cool, but you take off. That's like, bruh. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on. Some people don't want to deal with it. Like, and I wish there was a program. I, I looked on online. I wish there was a program where you can look up somebody's license plate and find their address. Oh, that's Whoa. a little scary. No, just so I could be like. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm hey, the one you friend. hit. Hey, yeah. So how are we gonna handle this? Uh, yeah, exactly. Why that's yeah. so that was cool. Everything was pretty much worked out for you by the time you got outside. Like they had the witnesses. Yeah, the cop like, already cop. came. That was good. Witness. That, yeah, yeah. That was good. Yeah, but it just that hurt me. That really, yeah, really hurt me. That. So that's my problem. And uh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a problem and you miss what the problem is, you can call in at two one five six one nine seven three six six and let us know what your problem is. Uh, in a second, we. We are going to come back with the weekend wrap up and uh, we're just really going to talk about our topic for the day, how social media has ruined relationships, yours particularly. So once again, it's your boy, Maverick. Particularly. Did I say that right? Particularly. (laughs) If he he didn't come at you, it would have flowed. (laughs) Because I kind of took me a minute to hear it. (laughs) (laughs) So once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Maverick, with Marc Francois and Deja. Collectively, we are known as the Goonies. Don't forget to call in 215-619-7366. Let's get back into the mad mix with Childish Gambino, Redbone. What up?